Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. The scripture reading is taken from Ephesians 6, verses 1 to 18. Can we stand for the reading, please? I'll read. And we can all follow and we'll read verses 18 together. And it reads, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and abomination of the Lord. Bond servants be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in sincerity of heart as to Christ. Not with eye service as, as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. With good will doing service as the Lord and not to men. Knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is slave or free. And you masters, do the same to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven and there is no partiality with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your face with truth, having put your breastplate of righteousness, and having stood your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith in which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which, the word of, which is the word of God. We will all read verse 18 together. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. Thanks be 